Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about how to configure Mac Authentication Bypass or MAB as a fallback on a Cisco switch, Cisco IOS switch. Um, there are uh, two usage of MAB. One is as a fallback mechanism for non IEEE dot uh, one X endpoints, and number two is just a failover mechanism for uh, failed um, uh, IEEE endpoints, or basically just you know if the uh, if the user is giving incorrect credentials. There are two types of. I mean, th you have to configure that one X or MAB in the global configuration and the and in the interface configuration. And you can see here that there are explanations uh, for each uh, command. So this is how you enable the IEEE service. This is, you know, create uh, an that one X authentication method list. And this is how you configure the switch to use radius authorization for all network related service requests, such as per user ACLs or VLAN assignment. And this is how you define the server. Just in this case, I'm just using one server. And um, let me just, uh, this should be like block. And uh, this is how you uh, enable uh, one x authentication globally on the switch. So let me go ahead and just uh, configure the switch. And this is the uh, topology, topology that I have. So I have you know, the supplicant authenticator, which is the switch, authentication server. In this case, I'm using a uh, radius server. So uh, I'm just going to configure the switch uh, in this video. So let me just uh, copy and paste commands. Yeah, I don't see any errors. And this is the interface configuration. So. Uh, you don't need uh, port secu security enabled on the port because it is redundant. <clears throat> uh, MAB or .1x is also limiting the MAC address, uh, the number of MAC addresses uh, learned on the uh, on the port. And this is how you, uh, of course, configure the interface to belong to VLAN 30 in this case here. And this is how you so you have to configure the port as an access mode to support uh, that one X. And this is how you do that. And this is you basically enable the uh, port uh, to respond to messages meant for uh, that one X uh, authenticator. So this is how you uh, enable the uh, enable that one X on the port. And this is how you allow one authentication on a voice VLAN and multiple authentications on the data VLAN. And this is this is basically just, you know, um, uh, so you can start the authentication with the link uh, changes from up, from up, uh, from down to up. And this is, this is how you configure map as a fallback in case, you know, that one X fails or the, uh, the devices such as printer, printers, camera, uh, they don't support, usually support that one X, so you have to have this uh, command here as the uh, to configure MAB as fallback, like I said. And this is how you enable MAB. And this is just this is how you set the uh, priority. So in this case, um, you know, uh, priority priority number one is number one is that one X, and second is MAB. This is, I believe, the default uh, configuration, but you can also, I mean, you can always, you know, explicitly define it. And that's what I'm doing here. So let me go ahead and copy this configs. Let me just.
pages. And so in this case, I'm using, of course, I'm configuring this port here uh, facing the, the host or supplicant. So let me just copy and paste and save the config. And these are the commands that, can you, that you can use to verify your configurations or to verify that .1x and MAB works as expected. So in this case, I'm just going to try to do this and I don't expect uh, any output because you know I have no uh, live uh, computer or client connected to this port. This is just a uh, dummy. Uh, and, and I haven't configured this, uh, to be honest, because uh, I just wanted to uh, show you how you configure uh, the switch. And yeah, let me just try this one. Yeah, no, uh, no output here. Uh, none, none, uh, client none, uh, unauthorized because you know, there's no client connected. And these are the uh, references that I have uh, to uh, create this video. So yeah, that would be all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.